What's up guys and welcome to another episode. So today we have another comparison drive out video today it's all about the honda boy so i'm actually a honda boy at heart it's unfortunate we don't have like a true four-wheel drive capable rig out in the honda community today we did bring a couple that are um probably the most capable out there so we're gonna go and meet them we have a guy that's already had a youtube channel you guys might know him already and then we have his buddy in a ridge line we have a honda passport honda ridge line we're gonna find out what they can do here at cleghorn you guys can kind of compare them to the bronco sport and then one day we'll bring them all together and we'll find out what all wheel drive vehicle is the most capable stick around we're gonna go meet them and uh yeah it's gonna be a good one all right so the first guy we're gonna meet drives the honda passport let's get it i'm a honda boy <laughs> it's mr john himself you what's up know? i'm john dz adventuring that's not my real name but you probably could figure that out I drive a 2019 Honda Passport EXL. I intentionally bought a lower trim because I didn't want all that create those sensors. I, I don't want parking sensors to go off while I'm trying to drive down a trail. And it also cost me a lot less. Yeah. Talk about your lift package first and then we'll break down tires and everything else. Okay, so I got a three and a half inch tracks to lift kit. I started off with a two inch kit, went with a three. So the three consists of a one inch subframe drop. Um, I've had the lift kit on this ever since I pretty much bought the thing. At 8,000 miles, I lifted it, okay. and uh, it's had a three and a half inch lift a while now. Okay, gotcha. So the vehicle has 117,000 miles, and I put the three and a half inch lift kit at 51,000. And on his channel, you can see a bunch of breakdowns of all his suspension and all that. And, and I just want to say that recently, uh, because of this dude over here, because we got the Ridgeline, uh, we did add iBox springs. They okay. finally became available. They are for a Ridgeline, but we made them fit on the Passport. It does take modifications, so don't, don't just go buy those springs thinking that it's going to fit on a passport do you have all that information on your channel like if there's somebody no, wanted to do it no it'll, it'll be there eventually there sorry sorry a little dude, slow with on, that dude you gotta give people the yeah, tips and sorry. trick as for the lift though the lift is you can just shop for the lift buy it yep. and just talk about your your big golden balls oh <laughs> well it's all because of the guy at the ridge line well i guess we'll let him yeah. break it down but yeah, you, he'll break you do have his system i here, do right? have his system in here okay. so even though if this is a comparison like he pretty much gave me everything that he has right i mean uh, how similar is the passport to the ridge line uh the it's it's pretty much the same except for he has 14 inches longer of a wheelbase okay he is on 33s i'm on same 32s. engine same transmission so, yep and they're yep, both all-wheel drive. The older Ridgeline, so like Ridgeline from 2017 to 2019 had the Honda six-speed. But from 2020 on up, it has a ZF9. Okay. And then uh, I think the, if they do make a brand new one, it's gonna have the Honda 10, which is gonna be class leading crawl ratio for a single speed transmission and i know don't get excited y'all this is like all wheel drive we're not talking yeah, like yeah. jeeps 80 to 1 crawl ratio so um, my viewers want to know though are we going to he hear vtech today <laughs> definitely for manny <laughs> uh, me, I, he, he cut off a resonator so okay you'll hear you'll hear vtech from manny for sure okay all right so our next guy drives a ridge line let's meet him talk to me sir what's your name what are you uh, driving emmanuel i drive this 2020 honda ridge line you done to it on the lift because this is not a stock size right it's not the stock lift. no no okay. it's not it's kind of like a hodgepodge of different parts from different okay. companies okay but um is there basically. a reason you did that is just because they didn't have a kit yeah, that was no, what you wanted no they have uh kits like tracks that makes a three and a half inch okay. lift kit okay which i was gonna get eventually uh -huh. but i mean prior to me when i first got the truck i was just using it for work okay and then i really only got like into this so we're watching like youtube yeah, yeah, especially yeah. john's video okay it has a small spacer uh lift kit okay and then it has the new eibach uh lift springs okay so you're obviously not supposed to use those together right because it creates a whole bunch of other issues yeah so what we did was we dropped the subframe one inch front and rear and on top of that uh we developed some strut spacers okay. that kind of uh works it works in in, uh, in tandem with the Z -Z with the I box springs. You've extended the shaft. Yeah, because okay. the I box springs are a lot longer than stock. Right. So that that pretty much brought back all the ride quality that the that the truck had when it was new. Okay. And on top of that, you know, you a more lot more articulation, way right. more articulation. Yeah. Well, which is good because that's what yeah. you want when you're off roading. Especially, Especially all wheel drives. All wheel drives suck. Yeah, and it, you know, like John, John yeah. pointed out a couple of times, a lot of times when you do lift the wheel, you kind of lose all the power. Yep. Um, but you did do something of like this to kind of give you a. A locking diff, right? Because uh, it comes naturally with that same yeah same um, ISV IT, situation yeah. has, right? I, okay. IT VM4 or whatever yeah. lock. So it, it does very well uh, with the rear diff, okay. but the front 
is obviously open. Right. There is no brake factoring right. in this in this platform. Okay. Uh, so what we did was we used a, a line lock okay. solenoid to give us the option to individually lock, lock a wheel that might be in the air. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, now this takes a lot of practice. Right, right, right. Like it sounds easy, but yeah, it's not the switch <laughs> of a button and you get going, right? No, it, it's something that like you have to um, like kind of play with the brake and right. also engage while you're, you know. Yeah, it's similar to what you have moving. to do with the truck that has LSD. A lot of times they don't engage right away. You have yeah. to play with the pedals right. a little bit. Right. right on. But other than that, other than the, the, the small lift that you do have on it, tires are aftermarket, obvi obviously, also. Yeah. Um, what size tires are they? They're uh, 33 inch uh, Toyo Open Countries. Okay. So AT3s. It's, a, it's an AT3, okay. Yeah. Nice on some Titan wheels. I see that. That's nice. What year is this? 2020. 2020. Yeah. Um, so it's the model right before the facelift. Okay. The facelift happened in 2021, but this has all the same uh, running gear as so the So it is ones. exactly like his, pretty much, yeah. right? Yeah. So but if you got it in 2019, you didn't get the nine-speed transmission. Okay. So, so this has a nine-speed. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And it all, it's also V6. What putting out what like 250 wheel? Yeah. Right on. And I'm sure it doesn't weigh too much because it is an all-wheel drive vehicle. Uh, or like 34, 35? No, they're 4,400 pounds. Oh, 44. Okay. Yeah. But it is a V6, so it should put out some power. Right on. So, yeah, today's Honda Day. We have the Passport, the Ridgeline. Uh, they're all aired down. We're going to get going. Let's get started. All right, team. So, as we get started, right at the beginning of Cleghorn, there is this little hill here. We're going to have John go first, and then we'll have the Ridgeline go next. We'll see how they do because this is rutted in a couple sections. You got to climb up and over, and it does throw your articulation off. And we'll see what these IFS all-wheel drive vehicles can really do. This is the first section and then we'll, again we'll climb up to edison hill and start doing some testing all right here comes the ridgeline ridgeline's coming up first all right respect the lift of the rear tire was able to clear it a little bit of scrape there but nothing bad Let's go, John. Get closer to that rock. You want to almost put your rear tire on it. Here comes John. Use all the buttons. This one, it's not even in the air. It's just not touching any solid. It's going, it's going. Nice. There you go, you good? You still keep coming? The back is lifting, but you're going to come up. You good? You good? Nice. Ooh, look at you graduating. Straighten it out, straighten it out, straighten it out. I am not a wheeler, by the way. <laughs> like right this? there, right there, yeah. As soon as it starts climbing up, then you turn that way, okay? There you go, there you go, there you go. Hell yeah, John! Let's go! Shorter wheel base. So the shorter wheel base. Woo. Make it a learn, make it a learn. All right, team, so we just pulled up to Edison Hill. We're gonna do each line gradually. So we're gonna start off with the easier one, then move up to the next one, and then move on to the next one. We're gonna find out where the limits of these trucks are. Uh, the ridge line will be going first, and uh, we'll see what happens. We're gonna get ready, stick around. All right, here comes the Honda. Back tires lifting, it's doing okay. Nice flex, it's not doing bad. First line, there was a little bit of working he had to do there, but it still made it right up. You can tell he does have some articulation with the setup, so it's really nice to see it. But once it started gripping, it moved right up. We're gonna move on to the next line. Let's get it. One more driver, One more driver. You should be able to climb right there if that front. Lock your front driver. It's going, it's going, it's going. Now 
Oh, back up. It's real on you. Scotty, come up here. There we go. Okay, now straighten it out, right there. Nice and easy all the way up. Don't don't turn the wheel. Don't turn the wheel. Keep it straight. You're good, you're good. You're good. Nice. Keep coming. You're floating, but you keep coming. Nice. Keep coming, keep coming. Right there. Nice and easy, all the way up. You good? Just keep coming. Nope. <laughs> nope, we lost it. Lock. Perfect. A little driver, a little driver. Good. Right there. No, keep coming, you're good. Stay in it. Just go driver. Go, nope. Driver. You're going past again. Add back up. You, you, <laughs> you slid off again. Go all the way back. Let's, let's reset you completely. Passenger. Right there. Come on. Strain her out a little bit. Don't stress it out too much. That locking dip. Let the LSD kick in. Keep coming. Perfect. Keep, no, no. Stay in it. Stay in it. You had it. Stay in it, go straight, I'll tell you when to turn. There you go. Oh, no, stay, stay, in it. It. stay in it. There it goes. All the way up, straight. Stay in it, all the way up. <laughs> it's not your cup of tea. He's in back up. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the hand up passport is having uh, cooling issues, so he's gonna back out and uh, we're gonna continue doing it with the ridge line. All right, team, so Manny's gonna try the second line now. Unfortunately, the passport couldn't make it up that other line. Here comes the ridge line. Sorry. Nice. Nice wheel lift from the Honda. Here's the big hole. Let's see how it does here. Oh, the back is lifting. It's going to pick up right here for you guys. Nice. Come here, Scotty. There it There it goes. Beautiful. All right, Ridge Line did it. All right, so we're going to line three now. Here he comes. Putting the power down in the front. He should be lifting right here. Both tires. There he goes. Locking the front. It's working out. Nice. Right there. Pull the driver a little bit. Nice. Woo -hoo. Nice. Yeah, he's a lot more um, confident. confident with his rig for sure. Yeah, and he but, also and he his, understands the system. So and his rig, yeah, it's a, it's a system that he made, but he also has like 800 pounds uh, less weight. Yeah, yeah. Do. The weight does not matter, but weight helps with grip too. So okay, that should have helped right. you. Right. Um, but yeah, so one, two, three lines are done. The hardest line is this one, but I'm not gonna put him through. Nah. <laughs> I don't think uh, he can manage up that. But yeah, we're gonna keep moving. He, I mean, Ridge Line's doing its thing. He, he understands oh, the yeah. system. He understands when to lock it, when to let it go. Um, so what it's doing is the rear LSD is kicking in and then he's locking his uh, spinning tire up front and he's making it work. So it's doing really well. Um, we're gonna keep moving. All right, so Manny wants to try the next line. It's a little bit tougher. Uh, the holes are a lot bigger. Let's see if the Ridge, ridge Line can get through it. Nice and easy right there. Go passenger. Passenger. Right there. Nice and easy. Let's see if your front bumper clears. Come up. Slowly. You're clearing it right now. You're barely touching it. Barely. So you can come up right now. It's going to start climbing. Break that accent. 
If you can get that rear LSD to engage, it might go up. Go driver, go driver. All right, here it comes. Driver. Woo! You're still, you're still pretty planted. Don't worry about it. You're pretty long. But you have to climb driver, okay? Nah, dude. They won't do it. It's not breaking. Hold on. Let me back you out. So you just have to walk. All right, you're good. Back up right there. That line. Follow that line. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right, so that fourth line, just the all-wheel drive system, and that doesn't have enough torque, enough low gearing to be able to climb a wall. But it's pretty impressive that it did bump up the front. Um, so yeah, I mean, his clearance is there. Far so good, man, he's doing great. That line lock is working up front. It does help him get over certain sections, but it's just the lack of power in the transmission. So we're gonna keep moving though. We're gonna put John through some more scary shit because no, no, we're not. that's what we do, man. John, <laughs> just one more, dude. Just one more time. Maybe, maybe, we'll Uno see. Mas. One that's not like so steep, Oh, the next other steeper. Yeah. But the next one is, have... it's like, you're not rolling over yeah. like you will here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. You might yeah. be able to talk me into this. We'll All see. Right. <laughs> dude, you're doing great, dude. All right, team. So we just finished Edison Hill. You guys saw what happened. John's rig, honestly, is probably just as capable as the Ridgeline, if not a little bit more because his wheelbase helps him a little bit, but it's just nerves. He does have a, a lot of weight on the truck, but that shouldn't really matter. That should help him with grip a little bit. Now you just lack of experience just going out and doing some, uh, trails that put you on the side a little bit and john's having a good time with it but obviously as you can see he's, he's honest about it he doesn't really hit anything like this but yeah so we're putting him through the ringer we're gonna see if we can get him to to do some more stuff up here um and then just kind of get those nerves rid of you know so that way he drives with a little bit more confidence because this rig i think is definitely capable so danny what do you think so far uh same same uh just john's nerves right now like you said you know he's used to overland he do mild stuff so that's way out of his comfort zone but if there was a time for him to do it and learn it's going to be now with us we got him here to spot we got us here to spot him and pick good lines for him we just got to work past those nerves and we'll get him up some good shit, man yeah yeah i honestly think the the passport and the rich line do have a pretty decent four-wheel drive system I'm really disappointed that that rear just wouldn't lock up right on the ridge line to make it up that fourth line again it is all-wheel drive it's not a real four-wheel drive system per se now i'm just interested to see if i can put the bronco through it and see if the locking rear diff on that one would make that line so we'll have to come back once we get that bronco that it's lifted to come up that line and see how it does but so far so good honda power boys let's get it <laughs> John DZ. <laughs> you almost there? You almost there? It's gonna level out right now. You good? You leveled out. Don't let it roll back. Come here. Come here. He's good. Just passenger and he's good. And then he can go driver. Lock passenger and go driver. You're, you're already there. Why does it roll back so much? There it goes, there it goes. No, it's coming, it's coming, nice and slow. Don't give it so much gas. Just lock it, let it do its thing. Keep it driver. Just roll it. Let's just get you back. All right, team, so we just pulled up to the next area here. The first huge climb here with all the ruts. Everybody knows this, Clayhorn Hill right here. We're gonna have the ridge line go first and then we'll have John in the passport try it next. Let's see.
That one, passenger. If you back it up, back it up a little bit. There it goes. John Deasy, it's your turn! How you doing it? Why not? No. This is your redemption hill right here. Nope. Fuck yeah, John. Nope. John, you can do this. No. This one doesn't put you tippy. This is the one I was telling you about. You're either gonna make it up or we'll just back you up. That's it. <laughs> you... I think this looks like probably a little more technical, right? No, you're just gonna fall in the hole and you just gotta work that system. See if the LSD kicks in the rear. Huh. If it doesn't make it, we'll back you up. This is the safest time to do it. I think we're just gonna back down. That's, that's good. Yeah, whatever you're comfortable with. I don't wanna put you in a spot. Too All right, team, unfortunately, just lack of experience with going up some weird stuff. Um, John's gonna back up. This truck is also giving him some heat warnings. So we wanna make sure we keep it safe. We're gonna back him out, make sure he's good. And then we're gonna keep going. We're gonna continue to test that ridge line. And uh, he's a lot more uh, comfortable with the system, the line lock and all that. Uh, so he's doing a lot better. But yeah, so just put some more hours in and you'll be in, man. Here we go, we keep moving. That's a wrap, folks. Ridgeline Nart Pro doing a fairly decent job. Let's see if we can get John to V notch this section and come straight up. All right, we got him. Nice. 
That's how you do that. That was a lot more tame. Uh, uh, that, that's the stuff I'm used to driving on. All right, cool. So. <laughs> All right. Just not so much of a crazy incline where it kind of throws you back a bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get up there and enjoy the views, man. We'll All throw right. back a beer. Hey, you want to ride? All right, team, so we just wrapped it up at Vista Rock. So now we're uh, driving down. We just finished up the trail. We didn't finish all of Cleghorn because I like stopping where Vista Rock is and kind of turning around on these test and tune type days where we find out what you know these rigs can do. Mostly because usually it's a brand new driver. They haven't actually wielded it this tough. Today, Manny had actually some done some of this trail already, so it was a little easier. Obviously, and then you guys saw John and uh, how he did with his rig. We wanted to end it up here. I just want to give you guys my closing statements. We, we keep it moving, but so far the ridge line worked well. Man, he drove it correctly. His system that he put into the line lock that front really worked. I mean, he really didn't struggle much. We tried one of the tougher lines for an all-wheel drive vehicle in Edison Hill, and he, he, he ate it up, no problem. Uh, John, I think his vehicle is just as capable. I don't think really it's a passport issue. So yeah, with that being said, I mean, both of the vehicles are pretty much similar when it comes to drivetrain. Obviously one has a little bit different wheelbase, but everything else is, is similar. So Honda did well. If you're in the market for something like that, buy one. If not, get a real truck. <laughs> but either way, uh, Ridgeline did well. Again, thank you guys for uh, sticking around. We're gonna close it out with them as soon as we get to the bottom. Danny, some last final uh, thoughts on the Ridgeline and on the passport. Uh, same, man. I agree with you. you. I believe you said it pretty well along those lines. Ridgeline did its job, performed like it was supposed to, according to what he said it we should be able to do. Um, John is going to get a hold out of his nerves, and he'll come back, and we'll conquer, man. Yeah. We'll get it. Yeah, I agree. Again, it's just, you know, he's got to he's got to drive a little bit more on these weird roads. But again, if this is not his forte, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's, it's really, he's good at driving where he drives, and, and that's really what matters when you buy your vehicle. Exactly. Um, but the Passport... You know, is it didn't break, nothing happened. He drove it off. Um, it did have uh, transmission overheating issues a little bit, but nothing crazy. Uh, Bridge Line did everything your basic all wheel drive vehicle should be able to do. Um, it definitely made it simpler than the cross track we tested, and it's still hard to say whether it made it easier than the Bronco. I still think the Bronco kept more composure just because that rear locker or clutch pack, whatever it has in the rear, was working a little bit smoother where she didn't have to gas it to make it up. She can come to a complete stop and then let the system work and crawl right up. We're gonna end up testing them together and then we'll really find out. We just gotta get her some clearance or find another Bronco that does have that clearance. And um, the little bit of the little bit of height definitely helps him out. We're gonna get to the bottom, we'll close it out and uh, talk to John, talk to Manny and and that'll be it, man. It's the ground. All right, James, so we just pulled up to the air up. We're gonna get some final words, Manny. The truck did well, did everything it's supposed to do. Yep. How do you feel about it so far? Um, Any plans for the future? Yeah, I want to try to make it up that wall. So other than making it through the wall, I mean, are you going to upgrade it anymore? Maybe give you some more clearance? Are you doing anything else uh, to it? Yeah, I mean, whatever else we can do, whatever else we can find, uh, keep working with it. Uh, but for right now, I'm pretty happy with the way it is. Yeah. I mean, for yeah. being an all-wheel drive system, it actually does pretty well. Yeah. You have some nice flex. I think if you uh, got a little bit better approach angle and maybe departure angle, yeah. it could help you a little bit. But other than that, I mean, the power seems to be there. Maybe, maybe Bull Mountain be the first all-wheel drive Ridge Line to do yeah, it. Yeah, maybe. Damn. <laughs> That'd be sweet. All right, so maybe we'll bring back, we'll bring them back, and then we'll do something with the Bronco Sport up uh, Gold Mountain. Let's go talk to our man uh, in the passport and see what he's got to say. Of today. Final thoughts is uh, you can see the difference between this this passport and the Ridge Line basically the same car except i got a rooftop tent big old 55 pound awning a bunch of gear in the back man he's pretty bare bones so the weight does play a big part of it but i think even bigger than that it's obviously going back to driving right um having john actually go out and feel comfortable driving his rig under those circumstances it's very important appreciate manny coming out i appreciate danny coming out to help Appreciate John for uh, coming out and having a good time with us. Uh, but we're going to wrap it up. Thank you for sticking around. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Patreon. TikTok is up. We'll be posting there shortly. And if you guys do enjoy these comparisons or just what trucks can do. I mean, again, this is not to show you like what they can't do. It's mostly of what they can do and show you their capacities. And then kind of put you in that market. Like, do I really need all of that? No. Then you buy this, you know. Um, it's really buying to what you're going to do and having a good time with it. If it's 2-2, do it. Don't worry about what anybody else says. Don't worry about what I say. Don't worry about what Danny says. 
buy to your needs you know what i'm saying make sure you're comfortable and then if you do want to test something and get something obviously bigger um then go that route but if not the Ridgeline did great the bronco sport has done awesome for the all-wheel drive vehicle it's pretty impressive but again we'll see you next time appreciate all the love appreciate everybody that came today and we'll keep it moving man thank you